Uh, my name is Irene D'Amico. I'm a reader in condensed matter physics at the University of York. Uh, I work in the physics department. I'm here since about seven years uh, and uh, in this period I've been building up my own research group uh, which works uh, on uh, semiconductor spintronics and quantum information. Uh, you have probably heard or read about spintronics and quantum information in uh, um, scientific magazine. Spintronics uh, is a, a research field which aims to create uh, a new type uh, of uh, electronics. Uh, electronics uh, as we know it today is based mainly on uh, uh, the charge degrees of freedom of electrons. Uh, spintronics uh, aims to use uh, uh, also the spin degrees of freedom of electrons. Spin is an intrinsic property, an intrinsic magnetic moment of uh, electrons. The second area of research I'm interested in is quantum information. Um, quantum information aims to create a new type of technology which uh, uses, which is based on the very rules of quantum mechanics in order to perform tasks. Uh, the holy grail of quantum information is creating a quantum computer. Don't get me wrong, a quantum computer is not simply something smaller and hence faster. Uh, a quantum computer will uh, speed up uh, only specific algorithm, but these algorithms um, are very important, may be very important. For example, it can speed up the search of a database uh, or uh, it can actually break uh, the most used uh, cryptographic uh, um, algorithm. Conversely, quantum information not only look at uh, um, quantum computers, but also at, uh, uh, for example, quantum cryptography, so cryptogra creating a crypto new cryptographic algorithm. And it has been proven that uh, um, quantum uh, cryptography can actually cannot be break, broken by, um, by first principles. So by using the laws of quantum mechanics, it is possible to create a cryptographic algorithm that cannot be broken.